It's been a minute since we've looked at this cat right here on the channel. We're going to be looking at Tommy Cooper and some of his jokes. Uh, I've looked at two other videos of stuff that he's done as far as the magic tricks with the uh, duck and then spoon jar. This just being jokes. The guy is just naturally funny in the two videos that I've seen. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. What a lovely audience. Well, I must say, you have been a good audience. And I'd like to close now, if I may. Oh, I've had a pain here all day. Look at that. Hey, bro. Oh, is it hot? It's heat that does it. The heat that does it? Oh. It's different every time, isn't it? <laughs> Bro, he's just so silly. He's just so silly. But you don't, you don't find a lot of people or comedians that are just, that are silly anymore. They're all, they've got these well thought out and, you know, just, this is good old fashioned. He's just silly. <laughs> you gotta love stuff like that. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I went to see my doctor. I had to. He's ill. <laughs> and he said to me, he said, can I help me? I said, yes. I said, I get these terrible dreams. He said, what's that? I said, I keep dreaming. These beautiful girls keep coming towards me. Beautiful girls. I keep pushing away. They keep coming towards me. I keep pushing away. He said, what do you want me to do? I said, break me off. <laughs> <laughs> He said, I want you to lie down on the couch. I said, what for? He said, I want to sweep up. <laughs> I said, but seriously, doctor. I said, seriously. I said, I said, seriously, doctor. Seriously, doctor. I said, I have broken my arm in several places. He said, well, you shouldn't go to this place. <laughs> you shouldn't go to those places. No. Here's a quick joke. There's a man having a barbecue in the front garden, so he's turning the spit like that, and the flames are getting higher and higher. Higher and higher, see? And he's singing. Oh, solemn being. No music. <laughs> Oh, soul of me, farewell. <laughs> and the flames get higher and higher. And a drunk walks by, he says, your singer's all right, but your monkey's on fire. <laughs> I love how he starts cracking himself up as he's telling the jokes. That's also, it just adds to the silly factor, but the faces he makes and the little little nuance like sounds and stuff that he does in between before he gets to a joke and in the process of telling everything like he's just bro like professional silliness uh oh <laughs> it wasn't, was it? <laughs> what? What? Yes. <laughs>
Fire Dawson. <laughs> What's he talking about? <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> I would have produced from this empty cloth a large guinea pig. <laughs> oh hell oh i wish there's got there needs to be more people like this in the world today doing this kind of stuff man this is just it's good clean fun you don't get a whole lot of good clean funny stuff anymore Granted, I've got nothing against cussing and raunchy stuff. I have nothing against it. I love that kind of comedy, too. But this right here just harkens back to such a simpler time in life, it's, it seems like, man. Really does. And to be able to take and get good, clean laughter without having to take and use any profanity or raunchiness, as funny as that stuff can be, but something that the whole family can enjoy. You really don't get a whole lot of that kind of stuff anymore. Oh, this is just... Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, my wife just told me just before the show. And she said to me, I've got water in a carburetor. I said, where's the car? She said, in the river. <laughs> <laughs> in the river? <laughs> oh, shit, that reminds me. Just... <clears throat> One big second. Hello? Is that the GPO? <laughs> Look, I want to complain about my my phone bills. They keep going up and up. But why are they so big? What? Because of what? <laughs> It's, it's hard to beat someone that's really good at not only good, clean, funny, being able to take it be funny and it be good and clean and just, it's hard to not only beat that, but whenever they're that silly on top of it, the hoo-hoo's and, and everything like that and some of the, the smiles and the laughs and the way he cracks himself up as he's telling something or as he's getting ready to do something or just smiling to the crowd to take and get a react Like that's... Bro, it's so hard to find stuff like that these days, especially someone that can do it really well. And this cat was just, that was absolutely, hit. that was too funny. Absolutely too funny. I love stuff like this. I really hope y'all enjoyed this. I know I did. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.